This time, Stark, and this video, we're looking at specialization in plant cells. So this will look at photosynthetic cells, xylem cells, phloem cells, and then root hair cells. So first of all, we'll look at photosynthetic cells. As one of the ways that plants differ from animal cells is the fact that plants can make their own food by photosynthesis. So this means that many plant cells can carry out photosynthesis, and this means that photosynthetic cells usually have a number of adaptations. So for example, they contain specialized green structures called chloroplasts, and these chloroplasts contain chlorophyll that trap the light needed for photosynthesis. They are also usually positioned in continuous layers, which means that they can absorb as much light as possible, and they have a large permanent vacuole, which helps keep the cell rigid and supports the stem. They also keep the leaf spread out so it can capture as much light as possible. So the next one is xylem cells, and xylem is the transport tissue in plants that carries both the water and the mineral ions from the roots to the rest of the plant. So xylem is made from xylem cells, which are adapted to their function. So for example, the cells die and then they form long hollow tubes that allow water and mineral ions to move easily through them. And the walls of the xylem cells are also lignified. Now lignified means that they're strengthened with a substance called lignin. Now without the lignin, the cells would collapse because the column of water in the xylem cells are under tension. So it basically strengthens it, this lignin, and that's why they're specialised, because they are lignified. The next one is phloem cells, and they're similar to xylem cells, because phloem is a specialised transport tissue that carries the food made from photosynthesis around the body of a plant. So instead of xylem cells which carry the water and mineral ions, this carries food. So phloem cells are similar to xylem cells, but they don't become lignified and die. Instead, the cell walls between the cells break down to form special sieve plates, and these allow water carrying dissolved food to move freely up and down the tubes. Phloem cells are also supported by companion cells that help keep them alive, and these companion cells contain a lot of mitochondria that transfer the energy needed to move dissolved food up and down the plant in the phloem. So finally, we've got root hair cells, and root cells help roots take up water more effectively. So this means that root hair cells increase the surface area for water to move in and out of the cells, which means that they have a large permanent vacuole, which speeds up the movement of water by osmosis. So thank you for watching this video, and see you soon. Bye.